with quarantine still in place and vaccines still on limited supply, we are still stuck in our homes for the months to come. And one way to entertain ourselves during this time is by watching movies and TV shows. One of the most popular streaming app right now is Netflix and I actually subscribe to the premium plan at 549 pesos per month. Though it may seem expensive, you can share it with your friends and family so that the monthly fee becomes less per person. These days, some people are even selling some premium accounts for as low as 50 pesos. But browsing through Google Play Store, I stumbled on three streaming apps that offers a huge collection of movies and TV shows, some not even on Netflix, but most importantly, these apps are free. So the first app I stumbled upon is uh, Movzy. It's a fairly new app. Uh, it was released last January 2021, but already has around 100,000 downloads. The description of the app is a bit misleading as it states that the app is for free movie trailers and music. Opening the app, you'll be welcomed by trending movies which are usually the latest releases. Beyond Netflix, the app offers other titles from HBO, Amazon Prime, and even Disney+. Plus. Aside from movies, the app also offers a lot of TV shows to choose from as well as music. It even has radio stations to listen to. Now this seems too good to be true and it usually is. For an app that is free, we expect ads to pop up from time to time and upon clicking on a movie or a TV show, a 15 to 30 second ad will play before the video plays. And while watching, you should expect a banner ad to show up at the top of the screen or have another 15 to 30 second pop up every 10 minutes or so. It is quite annoying to cut to an ad in the middle of an intense scene. But you have to remember that you are getting the service for free. The longest uninterrupted watch that I experienced was around 30 minutes. So to remove ads, you just have to invite 5 of your friends to download the app by sending them a link generated from inside the app. Another streaming app for movies and TV shows is Yizu. It was released a month earlier than Mobsy, and Mobsy seems to be a clone of Yizu because it has the same user interface and the exact titles available. Similar to Movsy, Yizu also has ads popping up everywhere and it will also disrupt your movie watching every 10 minutes or so. The main difference between Yizu and Movsy is on how to remove the ads. Aside from the option of inviting friends, you can subscribe for as low as 120 pesos to 245 pesos per month. So the last app I tried is MoveMax. It's also a fairly new app released only last December 2020. Now, unlike the first two apps, MoveMax only offers movies and you won't find any TV shows or music on the app. As far as the selection goes, available movies are up to date and has movies from Netflix and HBO to name a few. What I like about MoveMax is that the ads on the app only pop up at the start of the movie. During the movie, I didn't experience any disruption from the ads. MoveMax doesn't have the option of removing ads, but for a mere 15 to 30 second one-time ad, it's not as annoying as MobC and Yeezu. So all three apps are available on Google Play Store, with Yeezu and MobC also available on Apple devices. The apps are working on smartphones, but they are not available on the Smart TV App Store. Even if you figured out how to install the apps on your Smart TV, all three apps are not designed for TVs, hence it is quite useless. To watch movies on larger screens, the workaround is screen mirroring or casting to your smart TV. So there you have it. You can now watch movies and TV shows for free. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Misadventures of Ronnie G. Thank you for watching and stay safe.